Hi guys. So I was making my nephews um, a face cloth, a face wash cloth, and the way that I did it, it triggered my mind to think, oh, they can do this in Cricut. You won't get an all over print, but it will be, you can maximize the amount of space you have on the cloth to make, you know, make it work and make it look like all over. So, you know, Cricut only allows you what is it six and three quarters by nine and a quarter six seven six point seven five by nine point two five so i know I, sh I have other videos showing you how to use it in gimp if you read that this is one of the images for my um website so you see it is in um 11.5 by 11.5 which would give the bleed for the um all over print for the other video that this is talking about but since we're in here I'm going to show you how to do it in here as well and pretty much get the same thing almost an all over print not the same thing but almost an all over print we can use it you don't have this tiny little image on the washcloth so let's if you if you want to use Um, regular printing paper you can or you can use sublimation paper with this you're going to need to print one image large image you're going to need at least three sheets of um, either sublimation paper or regular printing paper whichever one you want to do you could do the image um, for sub paper and then you could use the name part what i'm going to show you for regular paper okay let's just get into it so what you want to do is come in and grab a square in the shapes and you want to make that square 11.5 by 11.5 and then this your image you want to make it 9.25 because that is the tallest that you can have the um print out the widest is six but we're not going to worry about that because we're going to be splitting this image so let's do 9.25 since that's the tallest you can print in Cricut so you're going to do the square image a 9.25 by 9.25 and that will go in the center you're just using this image here for a um, guide so let's push that eyeball it I'm going to just eyeball it right now to the center okay and then we're going to grab text and today it's working so I'm glad about that so you're gonna make the text whatever you want the child's name to be or whatever cloth you're making um, you can make this whatever so right now I'm just using child's name and this is a 60 72 so I'm going to make it a 60 and I'm going to leave it bold and this font is chrono so I'm going to turn it I'm going to leave it black for now because I'm turning this let me turn this a lighter color so you can see okay so you center that over your this is just to help you get the layout get your layout going because you want to make sure you stay inside of this line you don't want to go outside because then this would be too big to go on the cloth this represents the cloth this light gray part represents the cloth this is how big your image will be on the cloth so if you want to stretch that then you unlock it and stretch it out you can stretch it to be the same width as the uh, image or shorter that's up to you so right now we're just going to do it the same width or close to the same width and you want to center that so you have a little bit of pad in there and a little bit of padding over the top of it there so then you're just gonna whatever else you're gonna I'm just gonna duplicate but you can whatever else you want to type on on this cloth or whatever words you want to put on it you just go ahead and type all your stuff out and um, what duplicate I ungrouped it 
So you type everything out, get your layout. This is about getting your layout together. So once you get that pretty much done, how you like it, looks good. This, these names don't have to be straight because you're going to lay them straight once you, um, but you want to make sure they're straight, up and down straight, or ver horizontal or vertical straight. You don't want it catty corner like that because it'll throw you off. So just make sure that's straight. So you like, okay, I like that. I like how that's going to look or whatever. So then all of these, you can take them and put them over to the side over here. Turn all of them vertical. And just group them together. Oh, uh -uh, group. Let me step back. Control Z. Group them together and then just turn them off for now. Now that you have that done, you can turn this part off. That's your cloth part. Uh, that would be how big your cloth is. So now you take this image and make a duplicate. And you'll probably make make one more duplicate just in case something goes wrong and you mess something up you always keep an extra duplicate so with that then you'll want to create i mean grab a square and you'll want to unlock that square so you can drag it down this way like this and you'll want to slide this little a little beyond half of that image there just be over half and then cover that side up select and slice it get rid of that part because you don't need it because you you could use that but you don't want to let's see how wide this is okay that's good you you could use it, but you want to go over. You want to go over where you cut at right there. So you might want to go to this G so you will have enough space in when you slice off the white part of the paper to slide these two pieces together. So grab the uh, another one of the duplicates you made and grab another square. Unlock it. Now you see on this image you stop at the T, right? Just a little bit over that T. So with this image here, you're gonna do you're gonna go past that T and maybe over into the G a little bit. Grab some of that G. And then so it's you wanna go past where you cut before and then slice. So now you don't need this side, you don't need that, and you don't need that. Now you have your two pieces. And I'm going to zoom in some so you can see. Do that so when you go to put it, piece it together onto the cloth, you have more than you need. And you not, because if you don't have enough, then that means you got to cut again. You got to do this all over again, or at least one side of it. You'll have to do one side over again. So now you see it fits together perfectly. So when you go to, let's cut this off. Okay. So when you go to print, now, you have two pieces that you print then cut. When you go to print and cut, let's see, that's that's five nine. So you could probably get your um name pieces. Let's cut those on. So you could probably just use two. You probably won't need um three sheets. Let's see. This is your piece you um made in case something went wrong 
So let's slide this all the way to zero. Let's ungroup that. Let's come in so we can see. So I can see what's going on. So you can put one name. One name with this one. And you could probably put the rest with that one. So let's see. Group that. Oh, that's 6.78, so that's going to give it, that's going to give a fit. So, no names with this one. We make maybe can put them all on the other one. So, well, before you do any print, you want to flip this horizontally, and you want to flip this horizontally. So, then all of this. This could go together, I think. And cut this off. Cut all of that off. Then go back over here and you want to hit make on that one. Send that to your printer, print that out. And you don't want to put it on the Cricut and let it cut because you will cut all your border off. You can take your X-Acto knife and cut this one side off that you need to slide to the other, um, other image to make it fit perfectly. So you can cut that side off yourself. You can cut all this off with scissors, but you, if you you might want to keep some so when you put it down on the washcloth you can tape it tape it down in place because you will have to piece this image together so after you print that one then you come back and you can turn that one off and then turn this group here on and it is too big so let's see Let's ungroup and let's see if we slide it all together like this because you're going to cut these anyway and piece them in where you want them. Let's see if it's too big. too big so these you can print by themselves well I got it um wait no it's not and did this go back to oh, it was nine two five and then this it this is three let me do some math guys hold on because when you turn this it gives you the opposite width I know this is not this is 11 tall this is not 11 wide see it switch when you switch these names around it gives you um, the reverse width so this is one one inch all of this is one inch and this is three three inch wide so yeah all of this will print this all of this can print um let's attach it and see all of this can print on to um oh and i should say i should have told you too you you're gonna want to let me ungroup first let's step back let me step back You're going to want to um, horizontal flip these names as well. I didn't say that before. So I'm going to, um, did I ungroup? Or oh, detach? Oh, 
Okay. So I'm just going to turn it back like this. Turn everything the right way. And then I'm going to size. And spread it out a little bit since we know now it was only this is three inches wide so this is three inches so I want to slide it a little bit close together closer together that one wasn't straight, and this one isn't straight. Okay. Now I'm going to group these, and I'm going to horizontal flip. Now, we can slide it with the image here. And attach. So now you see it's now you see that it's seven point four. So we're gonna have to take some a couple of these off and do them on a separate sheet. Let's see. Sometimes cricket will let you sneak by. No, not this time. So detach. Group. How about these? Attach. What are we at? Five. <laughs> so we you would have to do these two on a sheet. So you cut these off. Group those. Cut those off. Hit make on this one. Send it over to your printer. This is a lot of waste of paper. I don't understand it. But anyway, it's just a lot of wasted paper. Cut that out. And then you can cut these apart because you're going to piece them in together. You don't have, have to cut here. I mean, it's close here if you don't want to. But if you want to, go ahead. But make sure you cut that black line off so it does not um, sublimate onto your cloth. So cut that off. I mean, print that out and then cut what you got to cut off of that. Separate those um, images, the names from the images so you can use them. And then hit make for this. Cancel. You're going to want to turn this into a um, print. A standard print and cut the other one went through because it was with a print and cut image so any names that you do you want to make sure that you're gonna turn them into a print then cut so you can do sublimation so hit make and hit print Continue and print and print this out. Make sure you cut it from that box and then separate these two because one will go somewhere and the other one will go another place. And then just put it all together. I'll attach a picture to this video to show you what I did with it, how I did it, and I hope this helps. I did not, I, I want to say, I did not um, print from Cricut. I printed mine from Photoshop so it is larger than what this will give you so it is not too much larger but it's the same concept I hope this helps